Welcome to Bear Genes. Hi, my name is Dr. Carrie Bosfield, and I'm a geneticist at Children's National Hospital in Washington, D.C. Today I'll be talking about pseudodeficiency variants that may come from newborn screening. As you may have heard, newborn screening is performed on every baby born in the United States to identify treatable medical conditions before health problems start. This is a screening test which means results do not confirm a diagnosis of a disease or condition. Instead, screening flags babies with abnormal or out-of-range levels. This requires further diagnostic testing to determine if there is a true disease present. Sometimes, a baby may have an abnormal screen, but further testing shows that no disease is present. These are known as false positives. Pseudodeficiencies may be one of the many reasons for false positives. Pseudodeficiency variants cause screening tests and sometimes diagnostic tests to look abnormal, but otherwise cause no real health problems or symptoms of disease. Pseudodeficiencies are inherited in the same way as true genetic diseases with genetic variants passed from one or both parents to their child. Pseudo means false or artificial, and deficiency means not having enough of something. Diseases on newborn screening often involve missing or insufficient enzyme levels in the body. In other words, not having enough of something that should be helping our body keep us healthy. Therefore, a pseudodeficiency result can be thought of as something that falsely looks like a medical condition, but is not true disease. In some cases, genetic testing is the only way to tell the difference between people with disease and people with pseudodeficiency variants. Anyone with confirmed pseudodeficiency is safe from risks associated with the condition that was flagged on the newborn screen. We hope over time, our testing will be better at telling the difference between babies with true disease and those with a pseudodeficiency who are unaffected. Thank you for watching Bear Genes.